In Investing 101 today, we are taking a look at what would you do if you had 100, 1,000, or $10,000 to invest. Scott Bauer of Trading Advantage has all the answers. Good to have you on the show. Always great to be here, Ange. So you watch the market, but you also are an investor, right? Yep. So what would you do if you had $100? And this is just an easy entry point for somebody who might be just on a limited budget here, but they want to invest their money. What would you suggest? Sure. Actually, I, if if I only had $100 and I was going to put it in one place, I'd probably buy a, uh, a share and a half of McDonald's. Really? Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I'd I buy like a that. share and a half of McDonald's. It's a, a, a safer play. It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna depreciate really. Uh, you're not gonna get the big buck return out of it, but it's a place to start. It's a place to start, and you know, now you're invested in McDonald's and you start to watch what's going on and what the company's saying and how the sales numbers are doing, and maybe you start to invest a little bit more. And who knows? Yep, right? Exactly. And and again, it it gets you that first step into the marketplace and starts to get you in tune with with what's going on. Nice, Mickey D. All right, let's take a look at if you had $1,000. Now, this is a little bit more, so you have to be kind of careful here, right? Exactly, but I would still stick with one stock, Okay. and that's Facebook. Okay, wow. so at 120 you know, dollars a share, you're buying eight shares of Facebook. Doesn't sound like a lot, but this stock is going to be $250 within the next year and a half. You think so? I think there's such limited downside that that is the place that I would put it. Now you're going to ask me for the next big number? No, I'm not. I was going to ask you <laughs> if you think Facebook will ever split. Yes, not yet. I don't think we're going to see it till it gets up to maybe the four or five hundred dollar number, so we can you know get this. The the recent splits that we've seen have all been like big multiple, six, seven, eight to one, and you want that stock to come back down under $100. So Facebook I think once, once Facebook gets to that five, $600 number, that's gonna be it. We could see it. Okay, here we go, $10,000. Now All right. this is a little bit more serious. All right, I'd be half in Facebook. Okay, so half in Facebook for sure. The other half, I would probably split up between something in the biotech that, that just got hammered, a stock like Biogen, and it's a $300 stock, but mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're not gonna buy too much because I still think that there's a lot of room to go there. And the other half of the half, so the other 25%, I'd be back to a, con a consumer staple stock. So maybe a Home Depot, you know, in that area, and maybe even back to McDonald's. So a little bit safer play on that. So you have, you know, uh, Facebook, which can be considered a, a big growth stock, but I think it's also pretty safe. You have the safer play with, you know, consumer staples. And then, you know, you, you just kind of watch and, and you sit and play. But I think all of those stocks that we mentioned here are stocks that you're not going to look in the newspaper every single day because you're going right. to drive yourself nuts. You know, you look a few times a year, but five years down the road, you're going to be more than happy that's where you put your money. I was really curious to see what you would do with that money and you chose all stocks. We'll have to do this again. Thanks for coming on the show. Absolutely. But you know what? Stocks because where else are you going to put your money right now? That could change in six months or a year from now. But right now, that's where it's at. As long as you don't stay under the mattress. That's I'm right. all good. No way. Thanks for coming no on the show. Thanks, Angie.